What's up guys, welcome back to another Star Wars figure review and uh, I gotta give a quick shout out here to uh, Cosmic Technocat, I saw your comment on sharing my my uh, channel to to I think it was Google Plus and dude that was hilarious and uh, I, got, I got something for you man this right here <laughs> that's for you because a pretty raunchy comment, and I think you might need this, my friend. So, <laughs> thanks for that. And uh, yeah, you know, here at the uh, Steezy Collector Enterprises, we like to do things a little bit differently than multi-million-dollar corporation that we are. So I went out and bought you that, my friend. So you can have that. But this is the review we are going to do tonight. This is, if you don't know who this figure is, this is Coffee Irana from the um, a comic pack. Came with our Balto Swan. And this is, he is from the Purge comics, uh, Purge number one. And there's a really, really cool comic. So if you don't have that, I would suggest um, reading it before I you know, pause the review. Go read it, because I know uh, Darth Phoenix, I'm pretty sure, you said you have it and you need to get around to reading it. So I'd suggest uh, reading it before watching this review because I don't want to spoil anything so there is another accessory I'm holding in my hand but I won't show you just yet because that is the spoiler so with this guy let's get into it comes with just the uh, standard blue lightsaber with a very uh, Obi-Wan looking hilt and um, I like I like the saber pretty cool you can't, I mean you can't really go wrong with uh, sabers and this one does have three colors, which is cool. So, you know, a saber hilt is awesome when it has three colors. So, that is that. Okay, going on to the actual figure. Head sculpt time. Um, I really, really do like the head sculpt of this figure. Um, let me get him back. What is he doing? There we go. really like the head sculpt of this figure. Very, very cool like a Mr. T haircut um, like that does have get that out of the way um, some like ponytail braids thing going on with like a dark blue like hairband keeping it all up there it's very nice steezy little goatee and mustache very very cool and oops, and he does come with this backpack. Um, not 100% sure what this is. I don't think it has any significance in the comic. I don't remember it having any significance. Um, very cool detail on one side. Looks very steampunky, and on the other side is just flat with the peg. And yeah, it stays in relatively well. Hair, the hair gets a bit in the way of this, so I have to have the head facing off to like slightly to the side. But uh, if anybody knows what this is. Please let me know. For now, it's just a backpack to me. The actual figure. Yeah, put him back on the base. So Mega Hall 5 is coming. Just a couple more weeks for all my figures to arrive. Because I did a big birthday birthday haul on eBay and got a lot of stuff coming. Still got um, another 100 or 200 to spend, so we'll get, it will be out soon. And it will be the biggest one yet, so hell yeah. Alright, this guy. Very, um, well, he's nice red colour, really, really like it. Um, and the skin suit or the robes or whatever is underneath his armour is just a really cool brown. On the back, very, very Aztec looking armor in my opinion, I think that's what it looks like, and I really like these gauntlets though, um, might have to move my camera back a bit actually, alright, yeah very, I really like the gauntlets, they look really cool. Nice goldy bronze colours on him as well. Back there. 
peg to the back does have these like uh, knobs and stuff here on his elbows and he does have them on his legs as well um, going down to his legs this skirt part here is um it's pretty tough so I feel like if you bend it upwards and back down the plastic would go white and maybe snap or will not be able to be you know it would just damage it so don't don't do that if you have this figure or if you get this figure um, it's a bit dark under there so where is my there we go this should bring out all the detail there we go very very cool again you can see on the uh, thighs there those like triangles and stuff really reminds me of like Aztec armor and Aztec like uh, carvings and stuff like that and sort of Japanese as well on the um on the shin pads, all the leg guards and everything. Very cool. And uh, fortunately, there is no ankle articulation and it does have swivel elbows, so that is kind of lame. But now, onto the uh, spoiler. Let me uh, just put this guy off to the side here. Sorry if you can hear noise in the background. I used to do my reviews a bit later when. Everybody's asleep, so there's no noise, but I'm pretty tired, so I thought I'd get it done a bit earlier. But yes, it comes with two accessories. You have a hand here and a, oops, you have a, a hand, severed hand, and a Kratosis blade. And this hand, all right, here comes the spoilers. This hand is Darth Vader's hand. He, um, things, some things happen and he has to take this sword, the Crotosis Blade, and Crotosis Blades um, disrupt uh, lightsaber crystals for a couple minutes if you strike it. So, um, they, Su Choi took off Vader's hand and Kofi Arana had his, um, killed Baltaswan and all this shit went down and, um, yeah. Then this goes in here, and that's how he dies. He gets <laughs> Darth Vader. Oh god, it's so stupid. He just jumps in the air, and Darth Vader kind of a uh, lightsaber uh, force throws his whole hand at him, holding the the uh, sword, and neck level wrecks him. So that is how he unfortunately meets his demise. So I hope you've read the comics before I spoiled that. Um, I sort of had to tell you what it was for. I wanted to tell you this figure in full detail. So that is what happens. You know, could have not told you that he died, but did warn you about spoilers. But anyway, I uh, did have this review recorded. A better version of this review. I, I feel like the other one I had was better. But while I was uploading it, my laptop died. Then I went back to re-upload, uh, to continue uploading, and it something happened and the file was an AVI file instead of MP4 and YouTube didn't register it. So I was meaning to have this up on like Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, but here we are, it's probably going to be Monday before this is up. And, ooh, Facebook message. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one, peace.